What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a rage effect in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Vegas Pro 14 up and here is KSI Raging, warning, turn your headphones down. What's the point of this? I mean I've tried, I've tried so freaking hard, I've tried so hard, I've tried so hard, it's just not working, it's a fucking working! Okay, so there we go. He's raging pretty bad. It's in one of his old videos. And uh, yeah, so the effects I'm going to be showing you how to make that screen go red. And then we're going to add a screen shake along with a rumbling sound effect. Now, I'll also be showing you how to zoom into just his face, like you've probably seen on other YouTubers. When they get mad, they put a red tint on the screen and then slowly zoom into their face. So I'll be showing you that as well. So the first thing, we're going to make it slowly turn red. And I'm going to make it turn red. Right, so it's just not working. It's a right there i'm gonna make it fully turn red so i'm gonna press m on my keyboard as you can see i already have it split because this is the part where i want the red to start and this is where i want the red to be fully exposed this will make more sense when i do it now so what we're going to do is head over to video effects if you don't see it simply come to view windows layout and select default layout now from video effects we're going to go to color balance which is right here and we're going to select red mid tones we're going to drag and drop this on the video now from here select the animation button Make sure sync cursor is checked, come to the very beginning and set this to zero. Then that marker we lay down, we're going to turn the red all the way up like that. So this is what we're going to get. I As tried so freaking hard! I tried so hard! I tried so hard! It's just not working! It's a fucking working! It slowly, gradually went from the normal color and it built up into red as he rages even more. Now the next thing, a screen shake. Now this can be super quick for some people. If you have this plugin, then you're definitely saved. All you need to do is come to video effects and you're gonna look for S underscore shake. And it is right here. And what this does, as you'll see, if I just drag and drop this on, this is going to automatically create a shake on that video. So if I play this, I mean, I've tried. I've tried so freaking hard. I've tried so hard. I've tried so hard. It's just not working. It's a and of course, you get full control over the amplitude. So, for example, here we can make the amplitude come up a bit, and then we can make it come up even more here. And then when he goes fully mad right here, we can put that all the way up. So this is what we're gonna get. I've tried so freaking hard. I've tried so hard. I've tried so hard. It's just not working. It's a just like that. Now, this is part of the Sapphire plugins. Uh, if you have it, then you can do it this way and you're going to save yourself a lot of time. If you don't, I'm going to be showing you a way to get around this. It's a bit more time consuming and the effects does not look as good. So I'm going to take off this S underscore shake. And now what we're going to do to make the shake is come to the event pan and crop. What you want to do is make sure size about sensor is checked. You also make sure lock aspect ratio is checked and also enable snapping is checked. And what we're going to do, we're going to zoom in by one like that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to come across three keyframes. So one, two, three, and we're going to move this maybe to the top left and then one, two, three, maybe to the bottom. One, two, three to the right. One, two, three to the top right. And then from here, uh, one, two, three, maybe you can go to the center like that. And you just be creative. You choose how you want it. One, two, three, I'm gonna go to the top left. And I'm gonna make a bunch here and then I'm gonna start to copy and paste up, so. And now I'm gonna copy all of these. So I'm gonna left click and drag and I'm gonna press control C and then I'm gonna to come to the end keyframe, come across three keyframes, so one, two, three, and press control V. Then I'm gonna to come to the end keyframe up here, one, two, three, control V. And we're gonna keep going until we get to the end. And just like that, we're at the end. So now, let's play this through. What's the point of this? I mean, I've tried, I've tried so freaking hard! I've tried so hard, I've tried so hard! It's just not working, it's a fucking working! So that is the type of shake we're going to get. If you want it more violent, then simply move it around more, zoom it in more. And also the keyframes may be space them out less. Now, of course, the effects doesn't look the best just yet without the sound effects. So we're going to be using the rumbling sound effects like I was mentioning and a downloading this will also be in the description. 
I'm going to put it right here. So as you can see, it builds up into the part where he actually gets mad. And I'm also going to put the gain up, as you can see, 4.8. And let's play this through. What's the point of this? I mean, I've tried. I've tried so freaking hard. I've tried so hard. I've tried so hard. It's just not working. It's a fucking working. There we go. And that goes well with his voice because he's shouting so loud. And as you can see, he just builds up the tension. So that is one way of doing it. The next way I'm going to be showing you is when you zoom into their face and make it slowly become red. So as you can see, I've reset everything and this is what we're going to do. So right here, we still have our marker. I'm going to come to the event pattern crop and now I'm going to uncheck sides about center and I'm going to uncheck snapping and we're just going to left click and drag and zoom into his face cam or your face cam, whatever you're doing it with. And there we go. And if yours does not create a keyframe up here and maybe you're at the start, make sure you have sync cursor checked because that is going to play a vital role in this. Now from there, we're just going to add the red effect. So we're doing the exact same thing again. We're going to come to video effects. We're going to come to color balance, which is right here. And we're going to drag on red mid tones. We're going to come to the animation button on the red. And right here, we're going to change the red all the way up. And right from the first keyframe, we're going to put the red to zero. So now, let's play this through again. What's the point of this? I mean, I've tried. i tried so freaking hard. i tried so hard. i tried so hard. It's just not working. It's a fucking working. And just like that. And then again, if you actually have the uh, S underscore shake I was telling you about, you can actually add this on as well. So just drag and drop it. We'll use the amplitude again to create an animation for how uh, the amplitude comes. I'm going to make it come up and up and up like so. So let's play this through one last time. What's the point of this? I mean, I've tried. I've tried so freaking hard. I've tried so hard. I've tried so hard. It's just not working. It's a fucking working. Just like that. So that is two ways you can create a rage effect. One, zooming into the face cam, making it go red. Two, having the screen shake like crazy, go red and add that rumble in as well. But that's it for this video. Like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace. Ho, ho, ho.